what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so i did want to go over another topic i have been thinking about a bit recently here in motorfest that is going to be the daily challenges that should be in this game or at least be added over time in it now i would say a lot of players are most likely going to want to see some type of daily challenges in this game and also considering most games nowadays probably do have some type of daily challenge in them for example let's say like call of duty or even battlefield do have them and even the crew one which came out around nine years ago also had daily challenges every single time you logged onto it it also had weekly challenges which i would say would be a pretty cool design now a lot of people might be wondering though if they did add something like this into the game how would it work and of course what would you actually get from those said daily challenges or even a weekly challenge that would most likely be pretty useful to you or at least what you're going after now one of the easiest ways to implement this into Motorfest is probably going to come down to making the challenges very simple at least when they are daily. For example you might have to do something like maybe 5 skills in that said day to get it done. And then for another challenge maybe you have to do like 3 racers or something in a playlist. Or even maybe have to jump into like a grand race or something like that. But on the flip side I do think there does need to be an option to maybe re-roll them. Which is of course something we do see in games like Apex Legends, like for example one of the daily challenges is going to be to win a match. Which of course how the matchmaking is in that game is going to be a challenge in itself. But luckily you can re-roll that to get like damage or even like play like 5 matches or something. So having that option to do so is probably going to be the best way for variety. And of course giving players an option if they do not like the said challenge that is out. Now the other big thing I was thinking about though is what can be the rewards for doing the daily challenges. Back in the crew one they basically gave you money and stuff like that so they weren't too insane for that matter. Now of course if Motorfest did have daily challenges they are most likely going to probably be money and XP for each challenge that you do do in that said day. And that would probably be like the easiest way to actually do this. They probably won't have like crazy like part packs or something in them but... If there was to be a weekly challenge, maybe they can have something a bit bigger in that. Like for example, instead of like the daily challenges giving 10,000 each. Which of course if you maybe had to do 5 of those, that would probably stack pretty quick. And you could at least most likely buy a few cars probably in like a week or so. Or maybe they can actually make them so they're probably going to be 15,000 each. But who knows, I would say if they probably made the daily challenges to be $25,000 for each one then that might end up being a bit too much money for doing like 5 of those daily challenges in one day because you're then going to make well over $100,000 every day when logging on. But on the positive side of this though, at least it is going to give a player a reason to jump on every day and do them, especially if you are trying to grind money and XP that way. And who knows, maybe you can also get free levels by doing like all of the daily challenges together. Maybe the weekly challenges at the end of that said week when doing them, maybe they give you like two levels in like the main timeline or like maybe it can give you like a bonus of like two to three gold parts for like a random class of your choice. And that way you can also get parts you might end up actually be missing in those said categories because well, getting that last gold part for each class seems to be an absolute nightmare. Especially grinding out one class for 10 hours because the nitro chemist part does not want to drop. Do not worry, I've also been there. So being able to get like a crate that would drop you around 3 parts for the said class you were actually looking to get the parts for would honestly be a really cool feature to have at the end of that week. Now the flip side of this though is what if you actually have a lot of gold parts that's already done for that matter and you're most likely not even looking for them. One of the easier alternatives to this though is to probably give the player the option to neither go after like a large sum of money at the end of that week or maybe go after like a lot of gold parts if they are missing them. That would most likely hit both sides, that way you will at least be rewarded at the end of that said week regardless. And one of the other things they could probably include in those weekly challenges is going to be the vanities in this game. We all do know there was a lot of them in the crew too that are not in Motorfest at the moment. So they could honestly even put some of those in the weekly challenges for a reward. And if you already own the said one you also will have the option to get money instead of that but... They can also include maybe window tints and even maybe nitros in there as well for like a reward. That way it is giving players something to go after if they do actually want to grind like different things they might have been missing. I would say a lot of players including myself do not have every vanity item. So at least in that way they could probably do the weekly challenges and go after them. I really do feel like something like this would be an awesome feature here in Motorfest. Like every player is going to log on and do like PvP or like different races and grind out money. 
So why not throw something in there like daily challenges to where you can make extra money in XP on top of what you already are doing that day? And I would say that would probably give a lot of players a big reason to jump on basically all the time and do them. But I would like to know your thoughts on this in the comments below because I do feel like something like this would honestly be insanely cool to see in this game in the future. And I really do feel like it would not only bring a lot of players in, but also bring many players back on a consistent basis.